Obviously, this is not the kind of thing you see every day. What an insane gain in value for a car maker, you know, that makes um, fewer vehicles than any any other I can think of besides maybe, you know, Pagani. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the, the, the share price valuation that we've seen, as, as you say, has been absolutely remarkable, really. You know, just yesterday we had another 14 percent gain. Obviously, there was a big market move higher. But as you mentioned, it's really the, the disparity between the cars they're making now and what people think they're going to make in the future is where we're getting this big rise for. So this uh, the company is currently making around 90,000 or delivering around 90,000 cars um, a quarter. Whereas some of the biggest bulls on the street will say that this is a company that will potentially produce around 6 million cars within the next 10 years on an annual rate. So there's obviously this big expectation that it's a huge growth company. And that's why we've seen this valuation that really doesn't add up to the fundamental earnings. So if we look at the price earnings ratio, even on some of the most conservative measures, it's above 100 at the moment. Whereas some of the fully valued um, car makers or even luxury stocks probably yeah. trade at around 30. It's really, uh, the valuation is really remarkable.